What's up guys, Stefan here from projectlifemastery.com. This is my monthly goals report for October 2014, where every single month I give you guys an update on the goals that I set for myself at the beginning of the year. Now there's less than two months remaining in 2014. And one of the things that I've had to do with my goals is number one, accept that one, I'm not gonna be able to get everything done that I originally anticipated at the start of the year. And it's worthwhile for you guys to assess where you're at. Hopefully you guys are doing this on a monthly basis like I am, but I've assessed where I'm at with a lot of my goals and I've really now decided, okay, what are the most important goals that I wanna get done in the next two months to finish off and close off for 2014? And so I wanna encourage you guys to do that for yourself with your goals. Take a look where you're at, assess you know, some of the goals that you set for yourself at the beginning of the year. You know, Accept that you might not get them all done, but just ask yourself what are the highest leverage ones and what are the most important ones? Because we really wanna make sure to finish off the year strong. And that's been my focus. Now I'm gonna go over here on my iPad the goals that I set for myself um, at the beginning of the year. And if you guys, if you're new to this, um, this is something that I do every single month, but check out the blog post that goes along with this video at projectlifemaster.com because I go into all my goals in a lot more detail. I'm gonna share a lot of the goals that I've already achieved so far earlier in this year. And I'm gonna give you some updates on uh, some of the remaining ones that I have yet to achieve that are currently in progress, okay? So I'm gonna start off with my health and fitness goals that I set for myself. The first one is that I'll easily be 160 pounds at 6% body fat and compete in the WBFF on July 26, 2014. Now I achieved this goal back in July 26, 2014. I got up on stage for the WBFF, which is a fitness modeling competition. I was extremely lean, in great shape, but my body weight was around 151 pounds. And so after that competition, my focus and my goal has been to put on some muscle mass while staying lean and low body fat. Now, unfortunately, uh, my body fat has increased, which I expected that it would, um, but I've always wanted to make sure that I stay somewhat lean because I just like the leanness. I like uh, you know, seeing my muscles when I go to the gym and I just feel so much better being lean. Uh, so my body fat has increased. Um, it's gone up to right now around 155 pounds um, and my body fat's up around 9 to 10 percent and um, I've probably put on a little bit of muscle in the process uh, but I'm wanting to lean out a little bit more because um, I was putting on some muscle for the last three or four months now and so I want to lean a little bit more and then in New Year's kind of refocus and uh, start putting on muscle, but again, make sure that I'm staying lean. And I, to be honest, my diet, my eating has been a little bit of a challenge for me because when I was doing my fitness competition, I was tracking calories, I was you know, using spreadsheets and all that stuff, and I was a lot more committed to it because I had a really compelling reason why I had to achieve this goal. You know, I had a fitness competition that I had to prepare for. And so I think after that, my motivation has decreased. I don't have a strong enough why and reason for it. Um, but anyways, I've made some transitions in this area of my life, which I'm excited to share with you guys. Number one is I've switched my diet now to being more vegetarian, more plant-based. Um, I've cut out dairy from my diet, cut out meat, chicken, beef. Um, I'm still considering to have fish, um, especially certain fish that are non-toxic that have a lot of great oils for your body and can still be a good protein source. So that is still in consideration for me right now, but I've uh, adopted a totally different philosophy and I recently put out a video blog on becoming vegetarian and just kind of my shift in that. Um, so that's a big shift for me. And then another shift as well is I recently hired a personal trainer and fitness coach. Now my coach previously was all online. It was uh, a coach that I used for my fitness shows that would give me the diet nutrition plan. Uh, but I decided to hire an actual in-person here in Vancouver personal trainer that I could go to the gym with, that could push me, hold me accountable. And I believe in the power of coaching because I've been a coach for my entire adult life. And um, so I'm really excited for that because I think that will help give me that extra boost that I need moving forward as well. Okay, so that's where I'm at with that goal. Um, next goal is to do a seven to 10 day cleanse using the Total Wellness Cleanse by December 31st, 2014. 
I achieved that goal in October. Um, I did a 10 day cleanse while I was on my trip to California and Dallas. And I actually did it with my girlfriend as well. It was all raw food. Uh, Total Wellness Cleanse is a great cleanse. Highly recommend the program. And it was actually great because I learned that you can cleanse and eat extremely healthy, probably even healthier traveling than I would uh, just being at home. Because typically when you're in your own environment, you have more triggers to eat. But when we were traveling, I not only had the accountability of my girlfriend, but we were proactive with everything. So for example, uh, when we were in LA, we'd go to Whole Foods uh, every day and get salads and juices. I even brought my juicer with me uh, on my trip. Didn't end up using it though, but um, I was willing to bring my juicer and buy groceries and everything that we needed to do. We found raw food restaurants, which is great. Uh, when we went to Dallas for the Tony Robbins seminar, we actually found uh, a raw food place that could cater for us and they'd prepare all our meals, our salads and our juices and we would uh, pick it up and then just bring it to the hotel, have it in the fridge and then we would take the meals with us to the seminar and everything. So I was amazed, it really shifted my belief that wow, you know, it's actually very easy to do this cleanse and I was amazed just, I wasn't hungry at all, I felt amazing and uh, cleansing is definitely one of the most important things I think you can do for your body and I know it's something that I need to do more often. So I achieved that goal, so happy to say I can cross that off the list. Now jumping into finances. Uh, I'll easily be making 30,000 a month consistently by December 31st, 2014. Now, those of you who have that been following me on this goal, I've uh, eliminated, destroyed, obliterated, and exceeded this goal by a wide margin uh, most of the year. Uh, so my last month goal for October, because I'm talking to you guys in November right now, but in October, I made my highest month yet, which is $76,000. And I've had, I think, two other months where I did over 70K, and it's just mind-blowing to me. And honestly, the amount of money doesn't really do much for me or doesn't mean much uh, in terms of like anything I can buy or whatever. It's more so, I've, I've said this before, it's the value that I've provided for people. It's the acknowledgement and what it represents that in order for me to make $76,000, I've had to impact thousands of people's lives all over the world and they receive benefit and value from me. And so that's the one thing I'm most proud of and what the amount of money for me represents because I've always believed that the secret to wealth is to add more value than anyone else. If you wanna make a lot of money, be successful, find ways to add more value to everyone else and do things for others that no one else is doing and over deliver. And when you do that and you provide incredible products, services, you change people's lives, then you have raving fans. You have people that you know, are gonna want to pay you. They're gonna wanna pay you for your product services and more. So I feel that I've done a really amazing job with that and that's what I'm most proud of with that. Um, now in terms of my income, um, I have a breakdown of it on my blog post and everything but uh, I've done really well with my Kindle course, my other ClickBank products that I sell. Affiliate marketing has been great for me also. Um, you know, my Kindle publishing income actually dropped. And the reason for that, you'll see it on the blog post, is um, I was using, there's something called contributors when you publish your book on Amazon, um, your Kindle books. And I was putting certain keywords in that and Amazon decided that they don't wanna allow that anymore. And so they actually gave me a notice to change them for my books. And I was on vacation, I didn't get around to changing it. And so they actually unpublished a lot of my books, pretty much almost all of them. Uh, so a lot of my books, almost all my books were unpublished on Amazon. They weren't making any money, the rankings decreased on them. And um, my virtual assistant is the one that pointed it out to me. I had to correct it, fix it, republish the books so all my books are now back live, they still have all the reviews and everything, but I went about a week or so without any sales and my income or my rankings dropped. And so that's why my income dropped on those. But you know, I'm not discouraged by it, those things happen in business and I think one of the most important things I've learned is to diversify your income. And I say this in my Kindle publishing course and everything, is diversify your income. Don't be dependent on one source of income because if it does drop or go down, then you're gonna suffer and it's gonna affect you. So if you're diversified and you have multiple streams of income, that's what's gonna protect you from the ups and downs that happen in business, the economy, things that you can't control. 
Um, okay, let me jump ahead now to my next goal, guys. It's uh, to have easily saved at least 100K by December 31st. I achieved that goal back in May. Um, I've continued to save money, invest money, look at different strategies on how I can get a good return on my money. Um, so doing really awesome there. Going to my business goals, I'll easily have published at least 100 video blogs on Project Life Mastery by December 31st. Now, I have published so far 75 video blogs this year in 2014 on Project Life Mastery. And it blows my mind, because this is a big goal for me, um, to do 100, and I'm at 75 so far. Now, I've been publishing about seven a month. I did seven in October. Um, and it's, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to achieve this goal by the end of the year. And I'm sure that I could if I really focus on it, but I've also decided, you know what, if I come up short on this and I publish 90 video blogs, then that's okay, because I wanna spend, I think there's some more important goals that I wanna tackle, some more important projects that I wanna get done that are gonna be a little bit more important uh, than the video blogs. Now, I've still, like I said, I've published seven in October. I've also published some written articles as well, so you can go to the blog, check those ones out. They're really awesome and high quality. Um, but like I said, I might come up a little bit short, maybe aim for 90 by the end of the year so that I can focus more of my time on some other projects. Okay, next, I'll easily launch my new money-making course by May 1st, 2014. So I've made no progress on this goal and it's probably a goal that I'm not gonna achieve. I decided I'm just gonna put it aside. I wanna get some other goals done that are a little bit more important for me. Next year, that's gonna be a big goal for me because I wanna launch some new courses. Um, I have a lot of great ideas that I've been brainstorming, even some self-development courses that I wanna do. Um, but it's gonna be based on finishing some other projects that I wanna get done by the end of the year. Okay, I'll easily launch my new Kindle service by February 1st, 2014 done that. Um, I've achieved that multiple times now, which is my done for you Kindle ready book packages. Um, I've been launching it now once every few months. I've got a new update, a uh, new launch we're going to do in, in uh, November for that. Um, but that's been great. People have been receiving a lot of value from it and uh, it's benefited them a lot. So I'm going to keep up that service. Uh, I'll easily launch my own Kindle software by December 31st, 2014. Still in progress, uh, that's kind of been a little bit on hold, but it's, uh, I wanna launch it for beta testing to a few members, because I just wanna make sure, again, I, anything I release or put out has to be high quality. It has to live up to a high standard that I expect, because I don't wanna just put out crap or just do something just to make money. I wanna provide value for people that people are gonna be more than happy to pay for, because the value of it is gonna benefit their life and they're gonna get a multiple return on it. So I really wanna make sure that this software is high quality, it works, it's been tested, there's no bugs in it, and definitely doing the software is a lot more logistical things involved than I expected, but um, it's pretty close to be done, being done, and this is a goal that I wanna aim for by the end of the year, so in the next two months to have this goal complete. Next, I'll easily launch my new coaching program by March 1st, 2014. Did that, I've launched my private coaching program and also my group coaching program. Uh, now my private coaching has been going extremely well. I've got a few clients that I've been working with consistently for months and months and months. And I'm so pleased by that because these people, they're committed, they're getting amazing results, they're doing incredibly well in their business and their blogs and their Kindle publishing empire. Uh, which is awesome. Now, I've had a lot of people contact me for coaching, but unfortunately, I, I just my time is limited with that. I can't help as many people as I'd like one-on-one. -on -one. And so I've always been kind of directing people now more to my group coaching. My group coaching, we've got an amazing group of people that I've been working with on a bi-weekly basis. We do webinars and group calls and everything. And um, it's just a really committed group of people. It's my Life Mastery Coaching Program. Uh, people are there is kicking ass and getting awesome results. And I've been helping people with Amazon physical products, with Kindle uh, publishing, with their blogs, um, even just relationships and just all different areas of life. So if you are looking for coaching and you do want to work with me, I recommend the group coaching. If you want to do private coaching, I think I have one spot available for that. So if you do want to work with me, that's available as well. But understand, it's a lot more money to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, but the group coaching is a lot more inexpensive and I can leverage myself and help more people in the process of that. So if you want to know more about coaching, just click the coaching, um, coaching uh, page 
on my blog up in the navigation area. And um, yeah, you can definitely apply and I'd love to have you. Okay, next, I'll easily complete Autoresponder Madness and implement what I learned into my business by March 1st, 2014. Now, this is a goal that was started in January, got delayed for months, and now I've been focusing on it again. And I'm really excited because I've been rewriting my entire autoresponder series for when somebody subscribes to my blog and enters their email address. And I've been creating, I've been applying everything I've learned in this course, but I've been creating some really incredible stories and uh, from my life and, and some really powerful lessons that uh, have been going into the emails that I've been writing. So that's another big goal, the, the next goal that I'm focused on right now, to be honest, that I wanna complete by the end of the year, and that will be done by the end of the year for sure. I'll easily launch the new design for Project Life Mastery by December 31st. I've achieved that goal. The new uh, blog design's been up for a while now, and I've actually got a video blog coming just on the details and everything behind the new design. So for those of you that are bloggers or web designers or internet marketers, uh, it'll be really useful for you just to observe, just to see what went into the design for projectlifemastery.com. I'll easily write and launch a new Kindle ebook by December 31st, I achieved that. I launched my, my Kindle book, Kindle Marketing Secrets, which has been live on Amazon, doing extremely well. I'll easily launch my own physical product on Amazon by December 31st, so that's in progress. I've been using an amazing course called The Amazing Selling Machine to help me with my physical product. I've actually been doing this with my girlfriend. She's got a product on Amazon as well. And right now, I'm, I mentioned this before, I'm doing a supplement that I'm gonna be selling. It's gonna be a weight loss supplement and it's been going really well. My manufacturer, my supplier uh, has got the product ready. Uh, my label design, my logo, all that stuff is like 99.9% .9 complete, just has to be approved. Um, but that's a goal that I'll be focusing on to get launched in sometime in December. So I'm excited for that. That will be ready soon and I can't wait to share with you guys more about that. I think you guys will benefit from it. Any of you guys that are into health, fitness or wanna lose weight, this supplement will benefit you. So more on that um, sometime in December. And I'm also excited just to share with you guys more of the process of that and how you guys can replicate. Because anytime I learn something or do something, I wanna share it with you guys so that you guys can do it as well and have success with it. So um, I'm excited to share that with you guys. Okay, lifestyle goals. I'll easily move into the Sheraton Wall Center penthouse on the 48th floor in downtown Vancouver by February 1st, 2014. I achieved that goal back in February. I moved into my beautiful apartment, a penthouse on the 48th floor in Vancouver. Next, I'll easily own and be driving a Corvette Stingray by December 31st, 2014. I've achieved that goal as well. In March, I bought a 2014 Corvette Stingray. Absolutely love my car, it's my baby probably one of the best investments that I've ever made because it gives me a lot of joy and happiness and it's a lot of fun. Okay, next, I will easily spend a weekend in California by August 31st, 2014. Achieved this goal twice. Um, I went to California, San Jose earlier, I think in July for the Tony Robbins seminar, Unleash the Power Within. I actually went with my sister, had an awesome time. And then I just went to California in October as well. I went to LA and I went to Anaheim, uh, yeah, and then I went to Dallas. So um, had an awesome time, went with my girlfriend, was a lot of fun. Next, I'll easily spend two and a half weeks in Bali, Indonesia by February 1st. I did that in January, I was two and a half weeks in Bali, Indonesia. I was gonna travel to San Diego for the Traffic and Conversion Summit. I achieved that as well. So yeah, I went to California three times actually. Uh, that was in, I think, the end of January, so I went to San Diego for that. And by the way, the Traffic and Conversion Summit is actually coming up in February 2015, and they have early bird tickets available for that now as well. So if you do want to go to the Traffic and Conversion Summit, if you want to know more about internet marketing, uh, or if you're already involved in making money online, definitely worthwhile going to. It's in San Diego. I'll be there. Um, a lot of the top internet marketers are there, and it's probably the top event that I go to every single year. So it's a top event out there. Next, I'll easily take a one week vacation and travel somewhere by December 31st. I achieved that, I went to Brazil, uh, Rio de Janeiro in August. Yeah, August with uh, my girlfriend. Okay, social and relationship goals. I'll easily go and socialize and have fun at least three times per week by December 31st. 
Um, that's been going well, but I haven't been doing three times a week. I've been spending time with my girlfriend about twice a week, so I don't know if that's included in that. Um, and I've been spending about one day a week with friends. So maybe it is three times a week, but I like to have a more social uh, lifestyle because one, one of the challenges I think of working from home is it's a blessing and it's a curse. You know, working from home is great. You have a lot of freedom. You know, you've got your kitchen right here. You've got everything you need. Uh, but sometimes you can be isolated. Sometimes you can be lonely. And one of the benefits of having a job sometimes is you work with people. You have a social environment. And actually last week I uh, went to a coffee shop with some friends. We did some work together. So I'd like to do that more often. Sometimes it's a challenge for me because I do some coaching and uh, some videos and stuff like that. Um, but I'd like to get out more. I think that's one area that I can focus on more. I'll easily have a fun get together and party once a month at my penthouse by December 31st. Uh, so had an awesome Halloween get together um, on December 31st. Um, we just had pre-drinks and a few friends over. Then we went to a club. I dressed up as Batman, um, but I actually only dressed up as Batman for the first hour of the night because I had this Batman costume and I didn't realize how hot and sweaty that would be. Within like 30 minutes in, my whole shirt, like every, my head was sweating like crazy. And I actually made a transition to uh, become the Joker. I actually bought um, like a makeup set and I had my girlfriend put on face paint on me and everything. And she was Poison Ivy because we wanted to be Batman and Poison Ivy. Um, so I made that transition, but Hall Halloween was a good time. It was a lot of fun and I had some friends over for that. Okay, next, habits and personal development. I'll easily meditate 30 days in a row for 20 minutes at a time by December 31st. Now, this is a goal um, that I was struggling with previously because meditation was hard for me to do consistently. Um, but I'm happy to say I've been doing this consistently. It hasn't been 20 minutes, to be honest. It's been maybe 10 minutes. Uh, but first thing in the morning, as part of my morning ritual, I've been doing meditation, some priming. I did, uh, I showed you guys that in my morning ritual video, my new morning ritual video. And I've been doing that for about 10, sometimes 15 minutes. And that's been amazing. And I'm happy that I've been consistent with it. I've probably done it now for about 15 days straight. So I want to really complete that goal. It won't be the 20 minutes probably, but uh, even if I just do it 10 minutes a day, I've always believed it's not the, the, the amount or the time, but it's the habit. Even if you just do it for a minute a day, the habit is more important. Because if you get the habit down, you're just going to scale it up and do more of it. I'll easily go 30 days without biting my nails by December 31st. I achieved that back in January. I'll easily go through the Tony Robbins Personal Power 2 program. I did that back in January as well. I've actually gone through a few other Tony Robbins programs this year also. And I'll easily read at least 12 books by December 31st, 2014. Did that. I've actually read 12 books now. I'm on my 13th book. Currently reading Tony Robbins' new book, Money Master the Game. I did a video on that uh, recently as well. Amazing book on investing, money, managing money. He interviews billionaires so you can learn their philosophy, their mindset, their strategies towards making money, trading, and investing. Really great book. Um, I have been also been going through some audio programs too. I'll link to all the books, everything I've been through so far on the blog post as well for that. Um, but that has been achieved. Next, I'll easily respond to friends and family within 24 hours for 30 days straight. I achieved that back in January also. And my last goal is I'll easily perform one act of contribution every month, whether it's volunteering, feeding families, donating to charities, by December 31st, 2014. So that also has been going really well. Um, I mentioned before I consistently make donations to uh, World Vision. I sponsor a few children, which has been great. And I actually just recently got an update from a few of them too. And so I really enjoy doing that, sponsoring different children that are in need, different parts of the world. Um, I've also been finding new charities that I can give to, donate to every month. And I recently put a, a post on my Facebook fan page for Project Life Mastery, and just asking people, you know, what are charities, foundations, or causes that you're most passionate about? Because I want to brainstorm and get ideas because one of my goals is next year, I'd love to create my own foundation. I'd love to create my own charity, something that I'm passionate about that I can contribute to and build and build a brand around. And as I grow, that can grow as well because I can get a lot, bring a lot of recognition to that and uh, kind of put my thumbprint somewhere in the world. Besides, you know, the videos, I, I feel that's a sense of contribution too, but something outside of my blog and my business 
um, I'd really love to make a difference. So I'm still brainstorming ideas for that. Um, donating and giving to different foundations and charities has kind of opened me up to different causes and learning about different foundations and charities. So I've been, do been enjoying doing that every month. And I also like another big thing for me too has been focused on a daily basis being contribution driven. Meaning if I have an opportunity to give to someone, whether I'm walking down the street and there's a homeless person there, or there's you know somebody in the lineup behind me and I can buy them a coffee or something like that, doing those little acts of kindness and contribution I think can make a big difference. It's not just the big things like giving money, but it's the little things and the, the things that you can sometimes do on a daily basis. And so that's what I've been working on as well. Now I'm gonna conclude just with some final lessons learned as I always do, and again, I'll probably have more when you go to the blog post. Um, one of the biggest challenges for me and the lessons that I've learned because I've been talking to friends in my mastermind group and been getting help with this, um, my life has transformed a lot this year. You know, if you guys have been following me, you see how much I've just grown, grown, grown. My business has grown, my following has grown, my products have grown, my brand has grown. And while I love that, it's exciting, it's amazing, sometimes I feel like I haven't fully adapted to this growth that I've experienced because one of the challenges that has come along with that growth is a lot more attention, demands, uh, pressure from everyone else in my life and people that I don't even know. For example, you might not be aware of this, but I get hundreds of messages every single day. People messaging me on my blog, you know, uh, Facebook, YouTube comments, like hundreds that I have to go through. And I've helped mitigate that by having a support team that helps me, assistance, that help me answer questions, uh, you know, just respond because I realize I can't respond to everyone. It's impossible because sometimes when I do that, I'll get all these messages, I'll wake up, I'll respond to all these people. When I respond, then I'll maybe get some work done or something like that and then I'll get more responses back to the messages that I sent out and I'll be, respond a little bit more. When I go to sleep, there's like a whole new flow of messages that happen. So the next morning I just repeat the same process and I just realized, man, it's just overwhelming to try to please everyone and communicate with everyone and it's just not possible. So I've been learning now, um, one of the biggest lessons learned is to create systems for that but more than that, just accepting that I can't please everybody. You know, I've learned uh, recently, my friend was saying that 20% of people will absolutely love you. You know, they'll love your stuff, they'll be your obsessed about you, they'll be your number one fan. Uh, about, I think he said about 60% are gonna, you know, enjoy your stuff and, you know, receive value from what you have to say. But then there's gonna be like 20% of people that just hate you that just for whatever reason, they don't like your stuff, they disagree with you, whatever it is. And I think that's very true. Fortunately for me, it hasn't been 20% people hate me. I'd say there's like 1% of people that hate me uh, and don't like me for whatever reason, haven't met me, don't know anything about me, but there's always uh, you know one or two people that just have to dislike a video that I put out, even if it's like pure you know positivity and just useful information. Uh, but there's always people like that and I think what I've learned along with not being affected by all the attention, everything that I've received, and accepting that I can't respond to everyone is also just accepting that, you know, I'm doing the best that I can. My intent is purely to serve and add value. I can't make everybody happy, and that's okay. And there's gonna be some people that, like I've had people, for example, that harass me, or people that I don't respond to that freak out and demand responses and get mad at me and angry at me because I didn't respond back to them within 24 hours. These have been things I've had to adapt to and I'm doing the best that I can with it but I think the lessons learned is to create systems for it, do the best you can, know and believe in yourself that you're doing good in the world and focus on all the good that you are doing and all the positive comments and feedback that I am getting and just ignore and disregard all the negativity and the negative people and and um, just you know, live your life. You know, uh, don't you can't live your life trying to make everyone else happy. You got to put yourself first. And when you take care of you and yourself, and you're able to take care of others. You know, um, so I'd say that's one of the biggest lessons that I've learned, and I'll probably articulate it a little bit better on the blog. But that's it for October. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, and I want to encourage you guys to assess where you're at now by the next two months of the year. Just make sure that you're focused, you're driven and you make it happen so that we can finish the year strong together. 
and I'm excited to share with you guys some more video blogs, share with you guys some more updates on my goals. I've got a lot of work to do um, and I know you do as well. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.